Now at 930, California voters will finally get their voices heard on issues that impact their lives. Primary election day is just three days away. This is a KTLA 5 News at 930. I'm Creed Winter. And I'm Carlos Salcedo in tonight for Rick Chambers. California's primary election includes high profile races and key ballot questions. There is a high profile fight for a U.S. Senate seat and a ballot initiative to tackle this state's homeless crisis. Our Chris Wolf joins us with a closer look at primary day. Chris, it's almost here. That's right. It certainly is. Kareen and Carlos, as you said, some major seats are up for grabs in this primary election. Some high profile Democrats are challenging a well known Republican for the late Dianne Feinstein's U.S. Senate seat. Adam Schiff! <laughs> a crowd in Orange County gave U.S. Senate contender Adam Schiff a rousing welcome this Saturday in the final stretch before the primary election on Tuesday. The Democratic representative from California is hoping to raise the stakes in his political career by winning the seat formerly held by long-serving Senator Dianne Feinstein, who died last year. There's so much at stake on Tuesday. Our democracy, our economy, and our planet. <laughs> Security agents quickly and carefully removed at least two hecklers from the crowd. But that's politics, and this is part of Schiff's platform. The challenge today is not that people aren't working. The problem is they're working harder than ever and still can't afford to get by. And we need to make the economy work for people. But that means building a lot more housing that's affordable. It means attacking these grocery chain mergers that are driving up food prices. It means bringing down the price at the pump. The Massachusetts-born former federal prosecutor stepped into the national spotlight, leading the first impeachment effort against President Trump. Schiff also served on the congressional panel investigating the insurrection at the Capitol on January 6, 2021. Sign. Very important. Sign your ballots. A challenger for the same Senate seat is Congresswoman Katie Porter. She cast her ballot in Irvine Saturday alongside her son Luke, a first time voter at the age of 18. Porter is considered a rising star in the Democratic Party, grilling bank executives and former President Trump's appointees. I think it's really, really important that people make their voices heard. We have really important things on the ballot, not only the race for the U.S. Senate, where I'm running, but also issues about how we're going to deal with homelessness and mental health with Prop 1. Speaking of Prop 1, Governor Gavin Newsom hit the campaign trail, joining L.A. County Sheriff Robert Luna in San Fernando to push for the measure targeting California's crisis with homelessness, mental health, and addiction. Prop 1 authorizes $6.4 billion in bonds and directs billions more annually to expand mental health and addiction services, build permanent supportive housing, and help homeless veterans. It really starts looking at the problem holistically, and it gives more options or alternatives to our men and women in uniform out there who are out there just trying to help out. Critics say Prop 1 fuels a dangerous trend toward forced treatment. And they say it diverts money from existing, effective mental health programs. A new survey shows former L.A. Dodger and businessman Steve Garvey leading the race for Dianne Feinstein's U.S. Senate seat. The UC Berkeley L.A. Times poll shows the Republican contender is favored by 27 percent of likely voters compared to Adam Schiff's 25 percent. Katie Porter finishes with 19 percent. The same poll shows Adam Schiff would have a significant lead over Garvey in a two-way matchup, 53% to 38%, respectively. I'm Chris Wolf. Back to you. All right, Wolfie, thank you.